Hello, this is Cambrian Man, and let's play Newtopia. Not the uh, Futurama episode by the same name, but a 1990 game by Hudson Soft for the TurboGrafx-16. Um, it's very similar to another game, which you will probably see almost immediately. Um, but let's go ahead and start. Push for run. That's the demo. Come on. Mysterious temple. Oh man, he just stole something. Is that a sack of potatoes? Nah, it's probably a princess. Ah, we must be Gisetta. Thank heavens we came. A terrible tragedy has befallen us. Late last night, the evil demon Dearth, Dearth came to us as we slept. Like a bolt out of the night sky, he kidnapped Princess Aurora and the eight medallions. Isn't that the princess in uh, Sleeping Beauty? Each medallion represents the spirit of our beloved leaders who still live inside us all. Dearth was our father's arch enemy, and he used his power to cast our fathers into stone. All of our ancestors' wisdom, power, and virtue are contained within the medallions. The princess was the only one who could unleash the forces of goodness, and now she's gone. We have news that Dearth has spread the medallions in labyrinths and has hidden the princess in his crypt. Use this compass to direct you to find each of the medallions. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. As an old and wise mother, I have, a, have the power of healing. All right, hold on. Um, I will be using save states in this. I will not be using them to like load and quick load, um, but I will be using them because it has a kind of obnoxious save password system. Luckily, since I'm playing on emulator, I can actually save it. When I play this on the Turbo Graphics, it required that I write down and fill in a very, very long password. All right. Look familiar yet? No? A little bit? See what's in here. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Come on. There we go. Book a revival. It allows you to um, go back to the last place you got a uh, save point when you died. I don't intend on dying too much, but if I do, um, I will use it. What's in here? Ah, more treasure chests. I'm a kind and gentle old man who will help you prepare on your journey. Yep, it will beep annoyingly. Yep, right off the bat we start out with bombs. Although we want to get something else very quickly. Medicine of Vitality. Uh, that will heal us back up to full. Um, and we can actually get a second one, which will make it red. Um, and we will be doing that pretty shortly. Honestly, once you have two medicines, it's not until the later levels that you actually uh, are really in danger of dying. Now, this game has some differences from Zelda. The most obvious one being that um, there are multiple, they call them labyrinths, but they basically mean the overworld. Um, so instead of just having one big overworld, excuse me. <coughs> oh yeah, and there are tons, tons of hidden passages and, and, and uh, hidden areas. Unfortunately, most of them are just people to talk to. There are lots of people to talk to in each overworld. Um, and in some cases, you need to talk to them because it's really hard to figure out what's going on otherwise. 
I know the other guy told me to head west, but there is something I want to the east. I do not remember exactly where it is. Huh. Um, the other problem, the other thing, there are a couple things with this game that make it different from Zelda. Um, fighting guys is really annoying. You'll see why I want this other item very shortly. Um, one of the different... There we go. Hi. Magical stick that can burn with great balls of fire. Yep. That's what I want. The fire rod. Or fire wand. I forget what it's called. What does this person have to say? Oh, well, yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, the fire rod is one of the other unique mechanics. It's similar to the way it works in Zelda, but it, in addition to being able to burn trees and things, it also shoots fire, and it upgrades or downgrades depending on how much health you have. So it becomes more powerful as you get more health. And it, ooh, cherry. Um, yeah, in this game, there are very few life uh, drops from the enemies. It's basically just um, hope and pray that you get... Ooh, okay, so these wings will take us back to our last save point. Um, and we will probably be using them a fair amount. Not so much in this first world, but in the second and third worlds, or especially the third and fourth worlds. Ah, here, I think this is it. Flame-throwing wand. Wickedness of dearth. They always refer to dearth's goons. <laughs> Hang out on something awful. I do not want the fire out of this. See? So, it shoots out a fireball and comes back. If we are lower in health, it will shoot out a fireball that will not return. And uh, it upgrades as we go. Um, so as we get more health, it becomes more powerful as well. It's a much better weapon than anything you have for a long time. The sword does not have much reach, and it's actually kind of slow. Let's see, I mean, you can't even attack very fast. So for a while, the fire run is going to be by far your better option than doing anything. Yeah, he just sells bombs. But bombs actually drop fairly commonly from uh, enemies. And there's somebody here. There's only one thing I want to do, which is talk to another dude. Yeah, she will heal us. It does... It seems pretty easy at first, and the first few levels are really easy. But, uh... The later levels get really, really obnoxious. Because you do not get a whole lot of healing items, and... Dodging things becomes really difficult. And things take a lot of hits to kill, later on. Early on, it's like one hit to kill. Ow. Um, so also, if you notice, we have no map, but we do have a compass, which will lead us in the correct direction of the, uh, the medallion. Should probably check how long I've been recording. Um, I think that's just the dude who will try to sell us something or give us something. Better. And there are a lot of hidden areas. All these places have hidden areas. But most of them just tell us things, or try to sell us things, or blah, blah, blah. Um, What I want to find is one other guy who can increase our health. But I may not even care. Um, what I would like to find is money so that I can actually buy another health potion. Well, that's. I think we're going in the right way for the first dungeon. Yeah, first dungeon is. Yeah. Um, I actually want to go back. I want to go find the the monk who will increase our life. You know, excuse me a second. There are monks that are hidden within each world that will increase our life. I honestly do not do not know where the monks are in the second world or the third world. Yeah, that's, that's another difference from Zelda. Oh, I think I mentioned that. So yeah, first world is a Zelda-like overworld. There's a, a desert and a kind of forested area. 
Second world is different, third world is different too. And each world has two different kind of environments and two dungeons within it. So this is a Zelda clone, however, um, it's not bad. It's not a bad Zelda clone. Maybe I'll play Goldelius. I don't think I've even played Goldelius. Which is another uh, far more egregious Zelda clone. Or, uh, what is it called? Gauntlet Legends? I think for the Game Gear. Which has the exact same overworld as Zelda. Ah, there we go. Death. Snake Men Death. I'm tempted to play uh, another one called Crusader of Senti. Mud Men. See? Um, because I got hit. I'm getting really lucky with the cherries today. I don't even need to kill Oh, yeah, here we go. Alababa, how sacrilegious in many ways. Far East Monk of Key. Alright. I think we're pretty much able. Um, actually, we want a little bit more gold so I can buy a second, um... I can buy a second health potion. That's what I want. With two health potions, whoops, crap. With two health potions, we should be well able to handle anything within the first dungeon without even needing to really bother with it. Nah, I should be able to kill him with a single health potion, but whatever. I like to be careful. The first two worlds really should not pose us too much trouble. Third world starts getting difficult, and fourth world is really obnoxious. So there's just a lot of... There's people... Um... There we go. Some people give us money, which is why. Yeah, I'm okay. Each of the medals represents health, you know, life and purity and blah blah blah, honor. There's a story to the game, but there's not really a story. There's an Utopia 2, which has more, but I've never played it too much. This is a game that I played a lot when I was a kid, because... I had a TurboGrafx-16 instead of a... I had a Sega Master System and a TurboGrafx-16. I did not have a... I, I, I did eventually have a Genesis and Super NES, but for a long time I only had the, the, the kind of the cheap ones. TurboGrafx was $100, and it came with a game. Uh, Genesis was more, and it did not come with a game. No, it did. It came with Altered Beast. But I had Altered Beast for the uh, Sega Master System. Which is a terrible port of a terrible game. I guess for the Sega Master System, it actually was pretty impressive. And I thought it was too, but it's not a good game. I need money. I think it's 200 gold. There we go. Just like in Zelda, um, our shield will block shots if we stand still. I think she heals us. They never say interesting things. They say stuff like, There is a medallion hidden within the labyrinth. You must be careful of dirt scoons, blah, blah, blah. I'm aware. Um, some of the hints are actually useful for certain areas. Oh, they already told us that. They told us... Oh, no, they didn't. They told us about the Book of Revival. What do you have to say? Anything good? Give us money. Money. Mm. Actually, I need bombs too, but I don't want to buy them. I want them to drop. Nope. That is money though. Don't worry, we'll have tons and tons of money by the end of the game. So much that we can't even really spend it all. There's not really a lot to buy. You can buy potions, rings, and... Money? Bombs. Yeah, everybody does need to eat, but I don't really care. Hmm. So, yeah. 
desert areas and a mountainy kind of forest area. Come on. Uh, 115, not enough. Pretty sure not enough. And that's useful. Alright, let's kill more uh, scorpions. Oh, there are bombs. Somebody want to drop a gold coin, please? Ah, Mudman. Nuts. Nothing. I I played through this a little while ago, but I don't remember. I think that's the first time. That's not the first time. Oh, that's just a dude. Hi, dude. Okay, thanks. As far as I tell, I've never seen a hidden room in the actual dungeon. Um, nor are most of the dungeons hidden. Making old guys... Hit pretty pointless. There are a lot of hidden rooms, but all of them have people. And usually the people just kind of tell you things you already know. Occasionally they'll give us good hints. Bombs, that's not bad. We only need, I think, 20 more gold. I'm pretty sure we can bomb that statue right there. having such bad luck with gold. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's go back. Buy ourselves another health potion and then head to the first dungeon. when I don't need them. Thanks a lot. Oh yeah, the cool thing about the, uh, the cool thing about the uh, fire wand is that it actually burns through walls and it um, you can shoot it diagonally, which you cannot do with the other thing. Which makes killing a lot of things so much easier. The bad thing is it actually does not upgrade too much in damage as it goes up, so at the later parts of the game, here we go. Two doses, we are good to go. We can go and just totally destroy this dungeon. Um, later parts of the game, you start needing like five hits to kill things with the uh, with the fire wand, which becomes incredibly annoying. When things are very fast and erratic, so it's pretty useless. But it is useful because it has a huge knockback and a good range. There's a person who will heal us. Is this you? Let's see. Can I stay at your house? Yeah, whatever. Ah, wall with a mural. Let's bond it. I don't think I ever use my bombs against enemies. Blah, blah, blah. Just the ball isn't out. I know. Is that it? I think that's it. Save point. Here we go. Do we wish to add the password? Yes. Use the file cabinet. Sure. Um. 
the way that um, Turbo Graphics games worked was that they had a little card um, which only had ROM. You could not save to it. Um, oh. Yeah, see, three hits to kill on the weakest setting for just these guys. Yay. Look at Tad Tired. I was totally confused by Tad when I was a kid. I was like, Tad Tired? My Tad? Um, so they had no, um, they had no, nowhere to put, like, a battery to save. No such thing as flash wrong back then, right? Um, so, you could buy a file cabinet which did have memory, um, and attach to the back of your, your turbo graphics. I'm gonna save state too, just in case. Just in case I totally jerk this place up. Um, and so the file cabinet, the file cabinet um, allowed you to save games. Nice thing is on emulator, you actually have a file cabinet, but I also have save states, so who cares. You cannot block those fireballs, not without um, a better shield. Now, unlike Zelda, the stuff you get in dungeons, like the, the weapons you get, are kind of useless. Well, they're not useless, but they're, um... It's not necessary to get them. Right? Like, in Zelda, you need to get, um... the items you find in dungeons to progress. In this case, in Utopia, um, the items you need to find are usually outside of dungeons, and you need them to get into the dungeons. Not quite key size. What's in here? Key to the crypt. Boss's key. Let's go to the crypt like a boss. Slow break. If only we could move faster. So yeah, I mean, if you like Zelda, and you had a TurboGrafx-16? No. It's a pretty good game for that. I don't think there's any secret door to it. These dungeons are not terribly complex. Uh, I bet this is the crystal ball. Hooray, look. Um, in some dungeons you do need to bomb areas, but it's not, again, not, not super complex. This way is another... Yep, there it is. Um... I, bet, I think this is armor. Is it armor? Bronze armor. And now we're blue. I thought he could get the slip on me. I uh, don't remember which way to go. This way, I don't think is the right way to go. Whatever. Don't care about snakes. <sighs> nope. It's not allowed in the game. Holding up. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, seeing as there's no other way to go, there's only a couple ways you can do this. And there we go. Yeah, most of the secret areas are like that, where there's just... Hey guys. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh well. Uh, do these guys jump? Do they throw things at you? Nope, they just walk around randomly. 
Um, one of the things that does make this game a little bit more difficult is the hit detection, because it's just a little bit wonky. Especially with some of the bosses. That you have these huge bosses. Oh, I'm gonna save state. Save state. Um, some of these bosses are big, but you cannot actually. is not exactly a... Hmm, that's it. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was the boss. Most of the bosses are stupidly easy. In fact, in most cases, you just get a bunch of cheap hits. Alright. We've got one more medallion to go, one more place to look, and we've increased our life force. And so I will save here, and I'll see you next time, and let's play Newtopia.